Hi, I'm Dr. Elliot Adam from ElliotOracle.com. I'm also the author of Fearless Tarot, How to Give a Positive Reading in Any Situation, which is due out from Llewellyn Books in just five weeks. I'm so excited. I can't believe that we're already in September. And speaking of September, it's time for this month's tarot scopes for September. Uh, so in this first part video, I'm going to go over the astrological signs of Aries, Taurus, and Gemini. So if you're in Aries or you just have a lot of Aries in your chart, this first message is going to be for you. So for Aries in September, Three of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, and Temperance. Okay, the Three of Swords is often a card of forgiveness. You can see that heart that's really weighted down by these three heavy swords. And the Three Swords are symbols for old trauma or something difficult from the past that the heart is still holding on to. And the heart would be floating above the clouds to rejoin the sunlight if it weren't for these three swords that it's hanging on to. So a lot of times this card will come up when you're hanging on to something from the past that's actually bringing the energy down. And the only way for the heart to heal is really to let go of those swords. But it can be hard for the heart to let go of something painful that happened to it because swords represent power. And sometimes that sense of righteous indignation or sometimes the sense that uh, if you hang on to the painful thing, you're going to be somehow more prepared for something else that comes up will kind of get in the way at this time. And so for Aries, this is going to be a time where you really want to forgive and forget. This is also a really productive month. The month of September for Aries is excellent when it comes to finances, money, uh, career position, or any sort of personal development that you want to go through. Nine of Pentacles is saying to keep your eyes on the prize, to really stay focused. And in fact, you have that hooded falcon on the Nine of Pentacles at the top of the card, which could indicate that you need to train your focus right now. And maybe not focus on the losses or difficulties of the past, but instead to really focus on what you're trying to manifest. Fest, uh, for this next month. And then finally, we have that beautiful angel of temperance, which is saying for Aries, it is going to be so worth your while if you spend a little bit of time healing this next month, if you're really tending to your heart, healing old wounds, forgiving past slights, and also just moving past and transcending something difficult that's already transpired. It's time to change gears and to switch your focus. And I really think that it's more productive to develop yourself professionally this year or on anything that's going to re, uh, reignite your sense of security or stability uh, or even practicality this next month rather than uh, rehashing old emotional wounds. And so this is a time to let it go and to really focus on the month ahead as being productive and full of wealth opportunity. So that is the message for Aries. And the next on our list is Taurus. So if you're a Taurus or you have a lot of Taurus on your chart, uh, this is going to be the message for you. The sun, the best card of the deck. The nine of cups reversed. And the eight of swords. Okay. So the sun will lessen the effects of negative cards that it appears next to. And in the case of the sun, it's always a good card. And so this could be a time for Taurus where there's some optimism, where there's something where you're getting excited again. It's also a card of good things. And when we get the sun next to the nine of cups reversed, sometimes it indicates that even a good thing, if done in excess, can kind of become burdensome. And so I just feel like there's a lot of energy, there's some freedom for Taurus this next month to really uh, involve yourself in something that makes your heart sing. Uh, there's some sort of hopeful activity going on here, but you're also being told to balance that. The Nine of Cups reversed is a card of excess. And so it could just indicate that, you know, if you're doing something too much or you're too intense, even if you love the work you're doing, you may need to come up for air and you may need to see some balance uh, restored in your life. We also get that Eight of Swords card, which is sometimes a card that represents feeling paralyzed by fear, feeling stuck, or feeling trapped in some way. And so this could be an, a card that'll come up sometimes next to the Sun in the Nine of Cups reverse when there's a real strong desire to escape from something that's been difficult or painful or challenging. And what you're really going to want to do, Taurus, is just allow yourself uh, to, yes, partake in those activities that are really going to help you feel alive and free and, and much better, but also to balance that also with what's going on with you internally. 
And sometimes the Eight of Swords can also indicate fearful limitations, uh, meaning that you might be looking at the sky as the limit with that Sun card and really seeing all your opportunities, uh, but the excess here could be an excess of worry and that you might actually be stifling some of that sunlight that's trying to peek through this next month. So for Taurus, my advice is this, all things in moderation, nothing in excess. And if you're even involved in something uh, positive or great, make sure it's balanced up with something as well that's more practical, more realistic, more grounded. Uh, that's going to be really helpful. And not only not excess in uh, good things, but also don't excessively fear this next month. Don't borrow trouble. Don't think, oh my God, maybe this will happen or that'll happen. And, and so I have to protect myself. Uh, whenever we see that sun, it is the best card all uh, all around. So this could be just a time where you're allowing yourself to really enjoy some good things, allowing yourself to get a little excited about what's ahead and not letting the fear stifle that positive energy. And then finally for this video, we're going to go into the astrological sign of Gemini. So if you're a Gemini or you have a lot of Gemini in your chart, this is going to be the message for you. First, we get the Four of Cups. Second, Page of Cups. And third, Three of Cups. All cups for Gemini. And cups in the tarot have to do with your feelings and your emotions. So this could be a time when you're just a little bit more sensitive where you need to take a little bit more care of what's being uh, whispered from your inner uh, spirit, from your inner voice, and also from the depths of your emotions. The Four of Cups is a card that says, it's time to accept good things being offered to you, Gemini. Um, a lot of times the Four of Cups will indicate that you're so focused on a problem or so focused on something that's stressing you out that you're unable to see the wonderful miracle that's just laid out right in front of you at this time. And you got that little cloud presenting that fourth cup there, which is just saying that there is uh, a blessing on the way or some sort of thing that's already right in front of you. You just may have difficulty seeing it. And so this four of cups is seen to really shift your focus uh, towards your positive feelings. Um, and although uh, there are going to be some losses you're processing, uh, disappointments from the past, or even some ups and downs this next month emotionally, it's important not to wallow in it, but instead to really say, okay, well, what is this teaching me? Or what can I learn from it? Or what deeper wisdom is this really speaking to in my life? And how am I going to apply this challenge uh, toward my personal growth? The second card we get for Gemini is one of the most creative cards in the tarot. It's the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups is telling you it's time to create, it's time to play, it's time to lighten up. That Four of Cups energy is a little bit heavy. And when we get that Page of Cups, even followed by the Three of Cups, there's a more playful, joyful, exuberant energy with this uh, set of cards here. What I will say is that this will be a highly sensitive month for Gemini. You might be a little bit more moody, um, and it might be best to channel some of that emotional energy into your creativity. That could be really a good outlet for you. And then finally, we got the Three of Cups, which is a card of charisma, positive energy, and it's also a card of joy and celebration. And this is just coming up to say you really do have a choice to look at, uh, you know, the things that are going well or, or the things that are not going so great. And you can really invest your energy in the thing that makes your heart sing. The Three of Cups also says that the trump card in your back pocket is always going to be your charisma, Gemini. It's going to be how you communicate, how you can make other people uh, come to life with your words and how you speak. Um, and so it's going to be important for you to really invest in your communication this next month. And also just invest in yourself by bringing the energy up and make sure that the uh, words that pass your lips are something that really elevates the energy around you and doesn't bring it down too much. Um, so that is the message for the first three astrological signs. I do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you can always check me out at elliotoracle.com and schedule a personal one-on-one -on -one tarot session with me. Otherwise, I hope you all have a safe and happy September and do take care and stay tuned for the next astrological signs as well.